Hey, it's Laura Stabs from the Hot 97 Morning Show. And it's your girl, Miss Info, from Hot 97, and also MissInfo.tv, and we're repping HotNewHipHop.com. HotNewHipHop.com, you're here with your girl, Ashley Ray. I'm here at Hot 97 with Miss Info and Laura Styles. Hi. Hi, Hello. guys. I just, Ashley, what's going on? Oh, nothing, nothing. I'm here to chill and hang out. There's a lot of girl talk, no way, girl, like, things happening over here. Nowaygirl.com. We just put you on, right? Hot mess galore. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, though. I yeah. love it. All right. Um, I just watched uh, the other night the last episode of This Is Hot 97. Um, <laughs> so are you? So are, we, are we expecting like a, a duo like porn tape? Because I, I heard the talk about <laughs> that. I was like, I was excited. I'm with Flex. Like I would totally Deep watch thought. it. Deep well, thought. Let, let's set. I mean, just to get this straight. No, this is not the new Nico Mimi yes. shower rod <laughs> fiasco. Um, in the episode, we were asking Deep uh, Black Thought, not Deep <laughs> Thought. We were asking Black Thought from the Roots, who is such a respectable. MC, I mean, he's a lyrical god. And then we asked him for some advice on how to get a second season. Uh-huh. You know, what do we do? You're already on, you know, TV with Jimmy Fallon. And his uh, advice was one, either mud wrestle, yes, or do a sex tape. And he volunteered. Yeah. I'd buy both. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we should call it Deep Thought. Huh? Yeah, that that, that was perfect. That's kind of now amazing. probably his name to you guys. Yeah, exactly. For sure. I asked. I asked before um, if this is Hot 97 is scripted. It's not correct. No. No. I mean, we know what we want. Right. Um, And we know all of the funny things that happen around the station. So we're kind of pulling from real experiences. Yeah. But beyond that, it's just like, okay, go. Yeah. And we're such hams anyways. I mean, we really say a lot of inappropriate things to each other all the time. Yeah. You You guys need another Saturday session. And since they know us also, they kind of like they feel comfortable and they're comfortable enough to just be foul or be someone they're not. Yeah. Yeah. Play along. It's all about playing along. People ask me all the time, like, Oh, it's so scripted. We don't have time to memorize the music. <laughs> yeah. We don't have time for that. You're not, you're not really actors. You're like radio personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there was one episode of um, Hot New Hip Hop. Our fans love Action Bronson. Really? Oh, who doesn't? Of course. Summer oh. Jam Artist, 2014. Wait, can't how, wait, how much do you love him, though? Because oh, yeah, I love him <laughs> in the biblical sense. No, no. Um, no, I mean, obviously he was one of the best sports. You know, like, yeah. this is the, the, the interesting thing about... Um, doing this project, This Is Hot 97, is you found that the artists that came in, it wasn't always the ones who were the biggest stars yeah. that had the most on-screen charisma and talent. Absolutely. Because especially when you're when you're improvising and you have to think, think on the fly and be funny, naturally funny, um, it really showed that some people shined and action was absolutely one of the funniest people. We, we couldn't even... We were laughing the entire time, like ruining takes because it was so so funny. Like, no, we should do it like this. this yeah, is exactly, <laughs> exactly. It was like, well, let just let him direct it. Yeah. So um, action came in, and he was one a really good sport about uh, doing something on this whole Tinder um, location based dating apps. I mean, which is all the rage, but obviously. A guy like him does not need that. Yeah. He has girls like throwing, throwing themselves, themselves throwing at him at the stage. He was, he was yeah, he was totally <laughs> great about it. I mean, he had the flowers oh, and he was, so he was bringing up his dad and <laughs> talking about taking me out to dinner. And I was so, at the same time, while I could barely keep from laughing, I was also so embarrassed yeah. because this is a guy that I'm friends with, and you know, I, I have to see him all the time, and I want to, you know, participate in his Vice TV show, which is about food. Um, a shared passion of ours, but yeah, I mean, obviously, super cute guy. But no, I'm I'm not planning on having any uh, Korean ginger w- like <laughs> babies, Albanian baby, Korean like. Albanian babies anytime soon. That would be like the best baby I ever. Know. I'm just could like, we? It's a thought. Like, okay, that could get you a second. What season. would our What would our, our <laughs> couple name be? Like like a Kim Ye or a Jayonse or in Bronson. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We did have one. We had a hashtag going when the uh, with the episode Whoa. aired. It was Bronfo. 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 I like that actually. <laughs> that would be the baby. I love name. you, Bron- Bronfo. 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 <laughs> we love you guys, Bronfo. <laughs> okay. Well, Miss Info, you have been a journalist on like people know you just for Hot ninety seven and the Miss Info TV blog, but you have been a journalist for a lot of great publications beforehand, right? And from like. I didn't, I 
I didn't do any radio in California. Yeah. So I was born and raised in, in LA and I moved here when I was like 19 to do radio. Yeah. So I, I was fortunate enough to take up. And um, I think that even for this year, there's so many backstories, really rich backstories from 50. This is his first.